all along.
Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at even, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. Let's sudden, let's come in suddenly he finds you sleeping. And you don't want to, you don't want to be in that situation with a guy that's sleeping. You know? I forgot what scripture is to do. I'm not sure what it says. But it says basically, don't be overcharged with the the certainty of the world. says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with something, and drunkenness and cares of this life. Esau 
beat him. You know, and how he gonna come at the end, man, that son of perdition. But, yeah, but more so it go into uh, how he gonna be revealed, but even after that, how people gonna die for believing on him and everything he had to say. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7. It says, for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work, right? Because at the time this is written, it's supposed to fall speak. Right now, he was in the time of what? The Roman Empire. And he was saying, look, the mystery of iniquity already doing his wickedness. Now, back then, it wasn't well known that the so-called white man was an Edomite. That's why it was a mystery. It wasn't it's time to be revealed yet. You know how some people keep it... Uh, Perish in them that perish, it says, 
And it says, because they receive not the love of the truth. Because they receive not the love of the truth, or the truth for Israel. So this is the two thirds that's gonna have to die to listen to the so-called white man. Whether they're gonna take his chip, right? Whether they got his jab, you know? Whether they, they bow down, hey, when the, uh, all hell break loose one way or another, if you believe in what this man got going, then you're gonna have to go with him. You're gonna have to get judged with him, right? It says that they might be saved. Yeah. And for this cause, the most high shall send them strong delusions, and they shall believe a lie. That they all might be down to believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And there it is. Ooh. You know how people say, so you telling me if I don't believe what y'all say, I'm going to die? Yeah. Huh. yeah. <laughs> if you don't believe what we saying, you're going to die. Huh. Right. Straight up. You know, you know how people say that though, right? right? So you telling me if I still, similar thing as they say, if I still eat pork, I'm going to die. Well, according yeah. to the prophecy, how much y'all going to come back and kill those? Yeah, Isaiah 60, what, 66? He's going to kill those who eat swine still. Yeah, right. So yes, if you don't believe what we saying, yeah, you're going to die, man. Then that's when they're gonna try to pray. So when all hell breaks loose, 
economy collapsed and the people that heard this truth going to be, they have been a prophet among us and then that's right. what they're going to try to get right, but it's going to be too late. It's yeah, yeah I would say he got... It's a beautiful day, man, because uh -huh. they ain't right, right now, they don't want to feel it. Yeah, they, they don't believe in those people. You know what I'm saying? You know, they give it the most I'm going to give back to them. Like, I had to do all this to make your ass feel it. I had to do all this to make you believe it. But now I believe you to these flags and vessels. Yeah. Just what the brother was saying in Proverbs, he said, when I, I, when I stretch my hand out to you, but I'm going to laugh at your calamity when you're in your calamities. Yeah, you know? You said, uh, you council, right. Come upon you, come. You don't laugh at you. You don't laugh at you. Like the brother said in the Proverbs, chapter 1, it says, they'll call on me, but I will not answer. Right. It's going to be too late. Too late. Then just a thing, they don't even got the name of the car. Right. And look, you can call on it. You know, because some people probably go remember, oh, yeah, he said, I hope I'll show you how to shot. Romans 10 said, how shall you call on him and whom you have not believed? Come on. Right. Now, you, you got a relationship. Just because you say, oh, y'all, that don't mean he's going to come get you, man. Right. That don't mean he's going to come save you. You see, you got to start believing. Right now is the time to get acquainted with the Lord. And I'm sure, brothers, I'm for myself, if you call my shit, my phone, and I ain't got your number saved, I ain't going to answer your shit. Right. The same thing with the Most High. If you ain't been knowing, you ain't been getting acquainted with him and his son, guess what? He ain't gonna answer you in that thing. He gonna say, go call to them guys who you've been calling. That's right. what the same judges. Uh -huh. I believe. Go call to them. Go call Jesus. All right, but oh, where he at? He taking a break. You know? You gotta go. Yeah, you guys spoke about people saying that basically they don't they don't believe what we're saying and they gonna die. Exactly. Those facts. But it's not it's not our words. We don't take these all words. Right. We just come to speak the words of Yahweh Shemuel. Come. We don't even mouthpiece with them. Right. But this is Second Ezra fifteen and three. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the ignorance of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So you're gonna have unbelievers. Because they, they just not of the sheep of Like in the book of Ezekiel, the 33rd, the 33 chapter, chapter 33, when they're going to watch me. And he said, Oh, wicked man, if he don't take heed in the word, his own blood gonna be on his own head, you know? So, you know, turn away. We just hit a warn you, man, so, blowing so the trumpet. Right, right, right. It's on you. This is you. This is your son. Rather you hear or forbear. Rather you hear or forbear. You know? Like, you know, 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 like, This first Thessalonians 4 and 8. It says, He therefore that despises, despises not man, but the most side, who had also given unto us his Holy Spirit. The Lord gave us the Spirit to teach this work to speak unto all people. Right. Right? So this is this is the Lord coming, and this, this is as far as we're going to go. Jesus being spirit for the Lord to come down in the spirit of or come to him in the dream. And that's not how that's going to happen. Come. The Lord got men set up to teach you. It's, it's a problem side of things to come and to tell you what to do. It always been like that. They, they want the whole side to deal with them first hand. Yeah, come. And you don't want that. Right? You don't. That's the last thing you want to deal with the heaven. Fuck yeah, right, right. Look at next one, man. Jake got hot in, in, uh, in the ancient world talking about what's we taught him listening to. Right? We're trying to listen to the heaven for ourselves. Just like certain camps today, they just can't take it that the heaven Whoever they didn't have around, they just can't understand how the heavenly father set up Moses and Aaron only. Nothing new, man. Nothing new under the sun. The heavenly father always has a specific man or men to come and lead his people. That's what it is. It's Daniel chapter 9, verse 9. It says, To the Lord, and how will watch you our power? We long mercies and forgiveness. Though we have rebelled against him, 
Daniel 9 and 10, neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our power to walk his laws which he set before us by his servants the prophets. Yet all Israel have transgressed thy law, even, thy, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us and the hope that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. The close of 10, we have not obeyed his voice by our servants the prophets. No, the Most High is not coming by coming out of his holy heavens to come down and bless this field to talk to the nation of Israel. He's doing it through men. Just living like you, growing the things that our people uh, can relate to. And tell them, hey man, that's that's not right. That's not the most right. This is the right. He did it through the prophets. And we stare back on the scene. Got it. It's Hebrews chapter 1 and 1. The most high Yahweh who has sun dry times in diverse manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Going all the way back to the time of Adam, the Most High spoke to Adam by what? A prophet. Okay? It says, Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, who has appointed, who he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. And what did Yahweh Shah do when he was on the scene? All right? He set up disciples. All right? That spread the word. Okay? The same word that Yahweh Shah was speaking. The men of the Lord are back here today. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Man. All right? Jeremiah 28 and 8. We doing the prophet's job, man. Through the spirit, okay? To warn Israel, man. Now, if you don't believe that and you just perceive us as to be men and you despise our words, well, that's on you, man. Okay? Because these are not our words, as Luke 10 and 16 say. If you despise us, you despise the Yahweh You despise Yahweh you despise the Heavenly Father. But as we know, according to the scriptures and according to the prophecy, two-thirds of the nation of Israel here in America, they ain't gonna listen to us. They ain't even listen to the men of old. So that damn sure ain't gonna listen to us, man. Even when they were seeing miracles back then, Israel was still being hard-headed as hell, man. All right? In these last days, the faith has been increased to where we don't see chariot. Well, brothers see chariot, but not as obvious as the men of the Lord did back then. All right? Brothers ain't seeing spiritual powers as our forefathers uh, did back then, okay? Elijah stopping his son, okay? And things of that nature. Moses, Joshua, 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 Joshua. the water, the water. All right? Moses and them throwing the rod down. Even all that. What did Israel say to Moses and Aaron? Why, man, why you do that, man? Why you go up there and say that, man? You making our life harder. Same thing now, man. All right? The second answer is 7 and 59. It says, but this is the life whereof, whereof Moses spake unto the people while he lived, saying, choose thee life that thou mayest live. And that's what we tell now, people, but just, come on, you can live, but it's the point. It says, nevertheless, they believe not him, they believe Moses. It says, nor yet the prophets after him, no, nor me, which have spoken unto them. So they ain't go. The most high said, Hey, if they don't believe you, they don't listen to you. I mean, me, they ain't gonna listen to you. But again, it's, it's prophesied for them not to listen. And it says, uh, that there should be not that there should not be such heaviness in their destruction as shall be joy over them that are persuaded to life. In other words, you're gonna feel so much better that you did. You're gonna be glad you came into the truth. You know, like it said about so us, first Peter 1 and 7. Uh, about our faith in Yahweh Shah, and in that nation, First Peter chapter 1 and verse 7, the point I'm getting is because it said right here that there should not be such heaviness in their destruction as shall be joy over them that are persuaded to salvation. First Peter 1 and 7, that the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perishing, though it be tried with fire, might be found with your praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right. Don't we go through shit now, don't what we believe in don't seem sexy, you know, what, what we come and do it don't seem appealing, but 
When all hell break loose, and how shall I come back? We're gonna be so glad we did believe in this right now when nobody else is. We gonna trust me. The table's gonna turn you. I was trying to say that in what, John 16, how the world is uh, rejoicing now, you know, laughing now. We saw wrong that morning, but he said, when I, when everything flipped, all hell break loose, we gonna be joyful, man. The world gonna mourn, huh? And that's what we're looking forward to. That's why brother's so excited that we see in uh, uh, this economy fall. Brother's so excited. We hear about people dying, right? People getting juiced up and, you know, twitching and shit. We, we like that, you know? Uh, clips falling on boats and killing people. And if I can add, the boat was called Jesus. You know what I mean? The boat was called Jesus. But that's the point, man. The Heavenly Father about to make his name known in the earth by way of judgment. Hey, I, you gotta think about the mindset of the disciples when they was actually out shot. Uh, is this a, a, now is the time you know restore the kingdom of heaven unto uh, unto Israel? Now, like you spoke about the excitement, we that more excited because we know that we're this our time, man. All right, that was over two thousand years, uh, two, about two thousand over two thousand years ago. They was uh, asking that question to the Lord. Now we're in the times we have full understanding, and we see it's only a few more prophecies. Get checked off that list, man. Right. Uh, yeah, and uh, if you had the Holy Spirit, brother, you won't know what the hell going on. Or, right here. Yeah. Oh, we even talking about We said I'm crazy to the world. Because the world would have insight. If they had insight, they would fucking fear. Like, they would fall at our feet and tremble, knowing that this shit might be over with. They don't know what to do, so they just want to get out of But we are excited, as the brother was saying, that, bro, there's only a few things left. A few things left, hey, those two are going to be hard, you know, but hey, it's worth it, though, man. Because after this BS over with, it'll be time to party for eternity. So that's why we even, okay, <laughs> it's all right. Go ahead, brother. If nothing, if, no, if nothing happened, we would never get in the kingdom. You know? If all hell break, don't break loose, if Esau don't get taken out of power, we would never get in the kingdom, man. Right. That's that's why you should want all hell to break loose. You should, you should want shit to get worse in this world, man. You should want more people to die. You should want Esau to come in like a flood. If you truly believe in the heavenly father lifting up a standard, you know, that the heavenly father go, you know, uh, stepping on our behalf, you should want all this to come. You know? You gotta go. The second address. 4 and 26 it says then after he me and said the more thou searchest the more thou shalt marvel for the world hastes to pass to pass away right that's talking about this time when you're not the world hastes to pass to pass away hey but who can say Esau know he got a what short time it's hastes to pass to pass away right? it says it cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous and time to come for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmity. Like I said, as this world passing away, we can't even fathom what the law about to bless us with though. In, a, in this time to come. Once we get in our kingdom, that's a good precept of 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. And I have not seen either or heard. But as it say, how beautiful this kingdom will be before we can even get there, some gotta have a first. This is our second entrance for 27. I comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmity. Mm -hmm. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. Mm -hmm. For the evil is sown, for the destruction thereof is not yet come. Right, so we see it every day, right? Brother see it on your phone, Instagram, you see evil. Yeah. Right? Rainbow flags, quarter walk, you hit her there, you evil. Right? And the many other the adultery and the women and the turkey, all that. We see it, but we like, damn, Lord, why you ain't, you know, destroy this place like Jonah. Like, damn, Lord, I prophesied, what's up? You know what I mean? But look, we wonder why the destruction ain't coming. It says, if therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. Second Ephesus 4 and 29. And therefore, that which is sown be not turned upside down. But sown with evil, right? If evil don't get taken out the earth. It says, therefore, that which is sown be not turned upside down. 
in the place where the evil is sown passed not away, if America, Babylon, Esau, ruling earth don't get destroyed, then cannot it come that it's sown with good. How are you going to get to the kingdom? Not. So we should want all this to happen, man. Now look, we know Esau will come like a flood. We know it would be so bad the Lord got to send angels. But again, if you believe in what the Lord said, how you going to protect us, what was the fear? Now I know it's easier said than done, but somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. Remember, we, we prophets, right? We believe we prophets, right? What we speak should come to pass. Why would you speak doubt on yourself, man? Believe that. Speak confidence to yourself, man. Look at the accounts of our forefathers. Hey, in Numbers, when they sent them spies out, right, to look at the land, you know, and what we doing, we spiritually seeing our land before we get into it. Second Ezra is chapter 7 and verse 14. Uh, just straight to the point. If then they that live never not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. So we got to go through the, the prophecies of all hell breaking loose. We got to go through the trials and tribulation. We got to go to, through the terrible day of the Lord before we get that blessed kingdom, man. All right, it's all a part of the condition of the battle, man. It's all a test, hoover ground, all right? To see who, who the Lord's elect is from the non-elect, man, all right? I was gonna say too, but that's a, hey, the Lord wanna show his power at that time. So you're gonna have to take on the situation. You're gonna have to go through all, all, all the evil and the, and the trials and tribulations just so he can save you your body. So if you don't wanna go through nothing, if you don't want the evil to come, then hey, that's, that's, that's backwards, that we believe in him. The Lord to show his power. See, so the Lord going to show up. Right? Now, when you go into this, right, so we came out of Egypt and we're in the wilderness. And before we actually went to the land of, uh, before Israel was called Israel, what was it called? Canaan. Canaan. Before we went into the land of Canaan, right, we went spied out first. So Moses, he sent out some spies. You know? Now, just like us, Spying out, we go and see the enemies, right? Just like us. We understand you saw them coming in like a flood. We spying just as much as he looking at us, we looking at you. You know, we looking at you. But you only had certain who came back with the confidence that they was able to take down those nations, man. Right. Again, every everybody who out on the highways, the hedges, or the camps, they may talk to I, I should be a perfect example. They was talking all that hot shit, no cowards. As soon as Esau came with a job, you want to take it now, telling your whole congregation to take it. But you see that's meant with scary reports, man. You willing to bow down to this man's system. But you will get it real quick because it's about to go into the, you know, get the mindset. It's number chapter 13 and verse 26. It says that they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Quran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them. And unto all the congregation of Jews that were of the land. And they told him, and said, We came unto the land where the thou sent us, and surely it flowed with milk and honey. It's nice, Moses, just like you said. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong, and they go to the land, and the cities are wild and very great. And moreover, You know, they got nice walls, they sit as fortified. Yeah, It says, if we come unto the land where thou sent us, and surely it will milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there, the Amalekites, well in the land of the south 
and the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Numbers 13 and 30, and Caleb stilled the people before Moses. So Caleb, in other words, told him, look, shut up. Shut up, chill out. Y'all complaining too much. Y'all acting scary, man. And said, let us go up at once and possess it, for we are all well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. They didn't really believe in the Lord then. Yeah, the brother just said, you just seen plagues in Egypt, you know? You, you took the Egypt, spoiled the Egyptians when you came out, got to the edge of the sea, the Lord opened it up for you, and had a chariot leave you, and you still gonna say, no, nah, we, can't, we can't take them people down. Come on, man, what you talking about? Well, cool, just, hey, even though Jake don't see it, they ain't gonna believe it, man. Yeah. Come on. Uh, so here's what I like, bro. You got a gigantic chariot over you, following everywhere you go. And y'all still feel like, man, I would have been like, nah, fuck this, I would have been like, they, they ain't got no chariot. They ain't got the Lord protecting them. Right, they ain't had no problem over the water. The water just fought against the boat. Right. What the fuck are y'all talking about?
But the ultimate outcome is you looking for the kingdom, man. And that's going to push you through anything, bro. Just as your house shot did. It said that he looked for the glory. Or that was set before him. And help him get through the cross, man. So how much more us in these days, man? Look for the kingdom of heaven. Or look for salvation, man. <coughs> but most of them take care of everything else. You know, go ahead, brother. That's this comfort in knowing that heaven and father control all things. Yeah. Right, right. Huh. If I could bring it so real quick, because that's also wisdom, man. This Sirach 19 and 20. It says, the fear of Yahweh is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. So that's wisdom <coughs> to perform the law. But this what else. It says, and the knowledge of this omnipotency, man. Omnipotency. You see, so having to understand that the heaven and father control all things. Why you think Yahweh Shah was so confident to tell Pilate, you have no power at all against me except it was given you from above? Now on earth, this man actually had the power to kill you. But Yahweh Shah told him, no, you don't. Think about how crazy that's that sound, you know, in person. Right. Why? But Yahweh Shah knew nothing can't happen unless the most high ordained. Even if it do, guess who ordained it? The heavenly father, well, man. Right. Who ordained his son to be put to death? Ultimately. It wasn't Pilate. It was Yahweh Shah. Peter said that in Acts. He said, what you foreordained for your son to go through, man. Right. Have the Gentiles and the heathens and uh, wicked Israelites dead. Right? But the point is, when we get to these times, we're going to have to understand every which way everything that happened, the most high is doing it, man. But, uh, you can get your piece out. Second Kings 6 and 15. It says, And when the servant of the man of the most high was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host go past the city. Now it's talking about Elisha, which is Elijah understudy. But it's Elisha and his understudy now, his servant. Now, as they was going, the king of uh, the middle of Syria, uh, the king of Syria, he was trying to go to war with the Israelites. Now, the reason he couldn't catch it slipping because Elisha, the heavenly father, revealed unto him, yep, what was the uh, war strategy of uh, the Syrians? I think it's the Syrians. Okay, what was the war strategy? strategy of the Syrians, so Elisha told a war strategy to the, to the king of Israel. So he was able to make adjustments. Right? So the king of Syria, he got mad. Like, man, how the fuck do they know what we doing? This second king, 6 11, he said, therefore, the honor of the king of Syria was so trouble for this king, and he called his servants, he said unto them, would he not show me which of us Right, right. So the key he called his people, like he called his whole army. Like, hold on, which one of y'all niggas? Yeah, I, I ain't talking about y'all, you know. But which one of y'all working with the Israelites? Which one of y'all spot? Because look again, this war strategy. Everybody don't know what war strategy, is, right? How you know that? And it's gonna say even if it was in secret, but to show the heaven and water were built. What it is? Amos three and six. We're building that to a servant of prophets, man. See, what the Rothschilds them talking about right there ain't a hard thing for the Lord to reveal that to brothers. You know what they're doing in their councils. Come on, man. Yeah. It says, uh, 12, it says, And one of his servants said, None, my Lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telling the king of Israel, the words that thou speakest in thy bed chamber, in your bed chamber, in secrecy. Everybody in your bed chamber. But everything they watch, strategy, their agenda, what they were trying to do, the Lord was building unto you listen. Now, the point is, this, this king about to get mad and he gonna go find the listen. Right? He gonna go try to find the listen with his army. Just like Esau. He gonna go try to find the elect with that army, man. But what's the comfort in this, though? You gotta go. He said, then he said, go and spy where he is that they may send and fetch him. And it was told them, saying, Behold, he is in Dope. Therefore sent he thither horses and chariots and a great host, and they came by night and come past the city of Bob. It says, And when the servant of the man of the Most High was risen early, It says that when the servant of the man of the most high was, 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 was right here, that's the early, that's a son. And God forth, behold, and those come past the city, both the horses and chariots, and his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Right? So it's, it said what? The uh the military come past the city, 
They say horses, cherries. What's what's that modern time? Man, troops can pass the city. We had tanks, right? Uh, M rocks. You know what I mean? Now today you got robots, robot dogs. All this shit was compared to city to come get Elisha, right? It says, he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Right, right. With us. First and foremost, you help Hashem al but his servants, the angels, man. Huh? They gonna be here to help us out in these times. They was even there to help you out, child, when he was, uh, when he finished uh, his life. You know, just scripting him, man. Good. It's more that be with us than that be with them. You can number how many people in the actual military of these nations. You can't number the angels, man. You can't number that military. You know? You can do that, man. Right? Right, it says to me, listen, pray, and it said, Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And Yahweh opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses. Chariots of fire round about Elisha. That's that Psalms 34. The angels encamp round about those that fear the Lord, man. So again, we're gonna be in times you might think, damn, myself, you got truth, you ain't by yourself. You just can't see your protection. Right? But it's the easy thing for the Lord to open up your eyes to see the angels. Again, I think we were talking about that earlier, right? Huh. Right now I got chariots in the skies, demons, spirits, but we just don't see that dimension though, man. Right. The Lord can snap with his finger, we can see our protection. Although right here, butter standing around, y'all backs turned, we over here, we ain't got no guns, we ain't got no weapons. Somebody can come by and do what they want, but they not do it. So we have protection. Again, the world can't see it, we spiritually see it though, man. So again, as we was going to that numbers, as we coming down to this time of great trouble, we truly don't have nothing to fear if you really serve the Lord. Right. right. If you really serve the Lord, you should have nothing to fear. Right. Nothing at all. Right. You know, that's why I said when all hell break loose, you shall have confidence, man. Right. You know, in other words, Lord, you laid it on the line. The Lord and you ain't go not fulfill what he said. He said, if you do this, I got you. Got right, right. So if we doing this, is he not going to have us? Come on, man. Hey, when, when is the most I ever came? It's like on any of his words, man. Never. Jake and Phil dropped that ball hundreds of times. The most high is not. So why should we, why should we doubt, man? Right. It's only for the elect, man. Right. It's only for the elect. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. They were scared. After all the Lord, they were still scared, man. Huh? It's Psalms 134 and 7. Psalms 134. Oh, it's a lot of people. Not 134, 34. Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of Yahweh and kept it around about them that fear him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see. That Yahweh is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Yeah, how, you, how you taste and see that the most high is good? Right? I, I remember you did a thing, a lesson on that about you gotta first, when you get into a situation instead of, you know, going to family members, you know, or, or try to, you know, seek for help in this world, you go to the Lord. Once he saved you and get you through that situation, you realize I can rely on the Lord. He got you through it. Hey, what we said that day, when you go to a restaurant. In a new restaurant, right? Taste the food, I'm gonna just try something. I'm gonna try it out, right? In other words, I'm gonna just trust the Lord. Let me see it, right? Let me see if you gonna give me through this. You know? The point is, as you've been going through all these experiences, you know, these downfalls, trials, and tribulations, you see how the Heavenly Father got us out of all these things, man. Uh. Now we see, okay, the Lord wasn't lying. He wasn't bullshit. He is good. And what that mean? He gonna be there, man. You ain't gotta doubt, worry, you know? Hey, I, and man, we've been going through the example of that without the physical aspect through the doctrine. All right? I mean, it, it's really a faith booster every time some way with doctrine or some bugged out philosophy come out or some bre off breakdown come out and you see men start falling by the wayside behind that shit and you stay in the spirit, man, that boosts your, uh, your faith, man, that you could be one of those virgins that follow in the land where we sort of be going, man. So even before the time we're really speaking on, Man, we done went through waves of, of men falling in this truth, all right? And, and going back into the world, 
and we still in this thing fighting, man. Right. And that goes back to what we quoted earlier. Romans 10, how shall they call on him and whom they have not believed? How are you going to call you? You ain't taste him. You don't even know what it's like. Right. right. You don't know what it's like to serve the Lord. You right. Know? You ain't going to have that Romans 15 and 4, the thing that's written a fourth time. It was written for our learning so we can have patience and comfort in these times. You didn't read the accounts, though. So how are you going to know? That's we, when we read to see, okay, oh, the characteristics of the Lord. Right? Oh, this is how you get down. We exact, you know, we, in other words, get to know our power. So when we get those times, we can have that confidence to call on him. He's going to come through like he did our folks. It's the same God. He ain't get old, you know, and change. He ain't get old, man. It's the same God, man. He's going to do the same thing. You know? Hey, real quick, brother, about the shop, you got to know the most out of that you're doing on both ends, man. Not only on the good times, but on the bad times, too, man. He require you that he know you, that you know him on both spectrums. Man. Up, yeah. See, Jake always, when things are good, oh, thank the Lord. Nah, man. He wants you to give him his reverence and praise when he got you on your fucking knees, too, man. Right, right. Yeah, Job says, shall we receive good? God. Only if right. you are good at the hands of the Lord right. and not evil. Right, right. It's a balance of both. God. Good. You know, life is good. God. God. Even when it's coming. The battlefield test soldiers, trials and tribulations will test the men of the Lord. That's right, Doc. So, you know, give a round of it. You know, it's like they say, uh, hard times at first time right. make strong men. Right. You know, I'm losing the right. 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 Anytime you go and sit on or go to the next level, it's always my trial and a test that you have to pay. Right. They show you that in the video game. Well, you settle, settle on the knees right. and you chilling, you know, how can you grow? So the Heavenly Father is taking us to that ultimate test because we're going to that ultimate level. You know, right. You know, just to see the world. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that world of doctrine, the world of man, teach you that, man. Right. Okay? It's not going to happen like that, man. That's before it's in the scriptures, man. Okay? That's right. Like it, but, but, man. Hey, now even even to speak about testing and see, even when you go into actually testing the scripture, like it is true, until bitter and sweet. You ain't just gonna get right, that right. sweet, you're gonna get bitter too. Uh, uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel and uh John Revelator was commanded to eat the scroll. Right. You know, right. That is. And again, it said he's doing this for our profit. Because the main thing you did on the first one. Okay, you can take that and third one real quick. And this is what it's going to fall down to. I'd rather get chance than not than later. That's right. I'd rather go through the spiritual fire now than the physical fire later. 11, 30, 30. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 30. For this cause, many are weak and sick. 31. For, uh, verse 31. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 31. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Right. right. You're saying if I'm serving the Lord, then the Lord gonna have to bring judgment on me, right? I'm doing everything I got, right? You know, I mean, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. So the Lord ain't really got a judgment. But it says, verse 32, but when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. He still can judge us because you got to go back to Job. What is brought up Job? It said Job was perfect. Right. So you can say, well, why, why did he get judged? The point is, he was chastened of the Lord, though. You know? Again, he was chastened of the Lord for his profit at the end because it says um, that if we get judged right now and chastened right now, what's the benefit of that? That we should not be condemned with the world. That we should not be condemned with the world. The Lord put it on us now. And again, it's easy enough, and it's going to be then. We're going through spiritual. And again, what we're going through, not everybody going through catch a flat town or with a word while it's raining. It ain't actually happening to everybody. It says things that's coming to man, right? That's what we're going through. But the point is, the Lord really truly is showing his mercy right now. Right? right. Cause when that true hell come, that's when we hope yeah, to you don't really want no part of that. You don't want no part of that, especially when those missiles. And what's the scripture after uh, that address? 
Because you, whoever escaped all the trouble, then the fight. Probably gonna be true. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. But, but what he left to say is they was going to escape the six troubles and the seven, man. Trump, right? That's what we doing. What we doing for the hopes of being out of that, man. Check yourself. Huh? You get in that lower state because of the decisions you fucking made, man. Right. All right. So now you gotta take take that hit, man. You gotta take that lick and keep going, man. Recognize where you fucked up, and you keep on pushing, man. Most I ain't looking for us to be sitting down soaking and shit if you slip and make a mistake, man. Right. We gotta bounce back, man. Right. The world is me is the life. Yeah. The world me spirit out. Yeah. Just man, you gonna fall. You gonna fall, but it says the right. Get back up. Right. Just like the Hawasha, it said that he was made perfect through suffering. Right. All right. The more we suffer, the more that that's the most high uh, perfecting us. Uh, hey, hey, what the brother just read? Acceptable men. Okay. That acceptable by the most high power. Not just you talking about it, thinking big shit. Big shit. Except acceptable men. Man, man chosen men. By the most high power. Two through this. We call no hell we we was just living in Babylon and all good, never suffered, then the economy collapsed. Bro, that first wave is gonna take everybody out, bro. So right now we catching hell, it's put it's preparing our minds to be able to endure, okay, in these times to come. Yeah. Hey, because we just talking about uh, uh, these times to come. We just talking about taking trouble. All right? We had a brother up by you. We uh, was having a conversation, and he just looked at me out of nowhere. He was like, ah, you got to be prepared to be homeless soon. I started laughing. And I said, hell yeah, kind of. You got to have that in your mind. We, we all going to be in positions like that soon, man. So uh, all the stress and worrying about what the fuck I was going to do what was going into that, man. All right? What's the point of stressing and worrying about what's happening when you know the most high in control, man? It'll simplify your walk on a whole other level when you stop letting your emotions rule your logic, man. Right. When you know the most high is doing this, what is he putting me in this position for, and what am I supposed to gain from it, man? Because everything, you're supposed to gain something from it, man. That's why uh, the early Yachty Zach said, man, don't say L is for uh, loss, let it be for level up, man. So It's uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 <clears throat> and uh, verse 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah of Masiya. Right? The thing about being a soldier, man, goes into solitary as well, man. Okay? All right? Mm -hmm. this, shit, this is a lonely road, man, but that's why the scriptures tell us to seek our own salvation with much fear and trembling, man. 
Okay? That's why it's beautiful when you do, you do get to dwell. Take advantage of being around brothers, man. All right, the opportunity, use that opportunity, man. Of course, we're going to let our hair down and we're going to fellowship and stuff. But at the same time, we be sharpening our swords, man. All right? Brothers getting in the spiritual talks. All right? Going, asking questions, pop quizzes every now and then and shit. Really should be going on at a higher rate, man. Okay? We definitely talk about it. So, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. Y'all therefore in y'all therefore in your hardness as a good soldier of the Yahweh Shah Yeah, so it says in your hardness, man. What is the hardness, man? All the trials and tribulations that set before us, man. Okay? We got this is a fight constantly. We in the light of fight for our fucking life, man. Alright, right now we fighting for our life, man. Alright, until uh, obtain salvation, man. Alright? All right, the apostle uh, uh, coined this the year of the turn up. So, hey, everything on every aspect is going to turn up, man. Okay, across the board, man. Okay. Hey, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Right. And the man of the Lord, you know, going into that enduring, man. The man of the Lord ain't going to be sitting at the table, you know what I'm saying, playing goddamn Russian roulette, man. Yeah. You know, because he had the Jake. I was in the uh, focal camp talking about he was contemplating yeah, taking yeah, his life yeah. and shit. You know, you must not be reading these scriptures, man. Right. You know, you, you don't have the wisdom out your understanding inside of you, man. Right. You know? And why would anybody listen to a guy like that, man? Yeah. You know, this book is nothing but life, man. If you're not in this book, man, hey, you, that's why you, uh, uh, you, so, you uh, susceptible to death, man. You know? Hey, anybody that was on there, the mother cats on there, they should have cut that shit short right there. Right. Because you don't want that, that vibration push. You don't want right. that energy. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Right. But that's what happens when you don't eat the whole roll. That's what happens when you get into this and, oh, this is something fun. This is trendy. I'm accepted. Right. I get a uniform. Right, right. Right. <laughs> right. That's what Jake think, though, bro. Right? That's exactly what the fuck Jake think, man. Go find a, go take the, hey, man, come to hard lesson learned, man. Right. Hard lesson learned, man. Come. This is a First Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen. It says, "There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man." And it's talking about a righteous man, a man of the Lord. It's not just talking about any old nigga. Man. So whatever you going through, don't think that you got a special hell, man. Don't think that you got this, uh, 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 your woe is heavier than the right. next man. Right. All right? We all got our painted, uh, 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 custom-made hill, man, for us, man. All right? Designed for the most high. So think about that, man. All right? Whatever you might be weak in the area in, and a brother is strong in, all right, it's in, it, it works in retrospect, man. All right? You might be strong in the area, and that brother who's weak in that area, uh, strong in the area you weak in, all right? Uh, it's the opposite, man. All right, but that's why we a body. That's why we take advantage of being uh, being amongst each other, man. All right, because we we, we we hold as a body, man. All right, and we operate as a unit. All right, for the sake of the ministry, man. Okay. Go ahead, bro. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful. Hey, real quick, the temptations are gonna turn up as well, man. All right. So when you uh somebody real quick get us uh, rock to and work. And uh oh you uh oh yeah, let me get it first and bring it out. So right, two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul to temptation. Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you 
to be tempted above that you are able. Hey, listen, now, now think about that. They say he will, the most high will not tempt you above that you are able, man. But you got men out here talking about the most high don't know every spirit, man. Okay, no, the most high know. Whoever the elect is, somebody hold uh, John 10 and get straight to the uh, point. Where he uh, out of y'all shot hands. All right? The most high know who his elect is, man. Okay? So whoever, that's why this thing is about faith. We can't say that enough, man. This is all about faith, man. We don't know how none of this is going to play out. We don't know what we're going to be. You ain't, ain't going to be in a position where I'm, I'm protecting my kids, got my woman safe. You don't know where the hell. You got that mind frame, the most I'll put you in a position to wake your ass out, out man. All right, for your demise or your salvation, man. Okay? But this thing is a fate, a thing of fate, man. All right? All right, we preparing ourselves to get snatched out of our holes in the middle of the night, man. Okay? The rest, none of this other shit going to matter at that point, man. Okay? But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, hey, imagine that day, like, imagine that day, Thursday is all good. You ain't your love, have a rubber helping whatever the fuck you got. Wake up the next day, ain't no, the money is, is done. Wait, wait, it froze, everything fucking froze, man. Yeah. All right, what's your next move, man? Right. Who you gonna call? Right. Who you gonna call, man? Right. Who the fuck you gonna call? FEMA. Where you gonna go? Phones don't work. Exactly. <laughs> this shit gonna change overnight, man, and then D. You better get it, man. Go ahead, bro. Right? And, and, and that's gonna be the, 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 like, that's gonna be the defining moment of your faith, man. When things are uncertain, like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Right. That's, that's how you're gonna get to where you can't go home, you can't call nobody. It's gonna be hell, man. But we understand the church that the most high gonna guide us, man. That's all that we need to know. But we'll know how it's going to play out, but the most high promise they're going to take care of his men. Right. And their children. Right. Now, as Apostle Hart said, you might have to watch your Lord one day put to death. It's a trial in your faith, man. Right. And it'll be hard to back. Send your child or some dead, man. There ain't no white right shit to take in. But it can very well happen. So what you going to do that day? Say, oh, man, see, most times, see, look, he ain't with me no more. Right. You see, my wife did. I'm oh, like, my, my, my uh, child did. But that's what Jake gonna do, too. Right. Exactly what Jake gonna do. You can get a thousand, a hundred more upright in the kingdom, man. Right. So what if you lose one on, on this side, man? They better get that shit together, man. Go ahead, brother. Right. This is the book, this is the book of John, chapter 10. And uh, I started verse 25. It says, Yahweh shot answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. Mm -hmm. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Yeah, that's, that's why, man, we speak about these wicked niggas that's going off on the doctrine. All right, Jake is out here bugging out of this influx of, of scoffers that he came up with, like, rap the news and shit. Man, fuck them. <laughs> Use them for edification. Use them to do lessons. Use them to go study. We know they off. Then go, go, go do a lesson on what they off on, man. Okay? Use them for ammunition, man. All right, for the turn in and the exhortation, man. They, the, the most I'm not dealing with them, man. They're gonna be put to death, man. Right. All right, you supposed to be fighting and not beat next to their ass, man. Right. right. Go ahead, brother. I got something real quick. This uh, Jude chapter one and verse 18. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk, who should walk after their own ungodly lust. These be they who separate themselves sensual Having not the spirit. Right. You know, like the brothers speaking of, man. That should be to your edification, man. All right, showing you that we're about to get the hell out of here, man. Okay, because when that guy, you know, rep the news fell out, I mean, uh, guy got, got put to death, you know, by the most high, these scoffers start coming out of nowhere, man. You know, scoffing against you, your whole shot, man. You know? He unleashed that anti Mashiach. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's all it is. All the scoffers is, man, they coming up against the Lord, man. Right. So what, what you going to, this is a battle. Right. We in the midst of battle, man. So when you see the opposition come, you gear the fuck up and get ready for battle, man. With this. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is uh, the book of John chapter 10 and uh, verse 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Mm. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, right. and I know them, and they follow me. And I know they follow through the spirit, man. Right. 
All right, sticking to the doctrine. Walking right. this, man. Not just talking, man. Right. As we're approaching the times, it's going to be known who just running their fucking mouth. That's right. I'm serious about this, man. Very soon. All right. Now, I'm not speaking in the sense I, I, I don't know. I'm fucking shit. We come to the times to be in this flesh. We approaching some scary fucking times. Man. Right. If your faith ain't right, you shit out of luck, man. Right. Right. If I may just add on that point of walking with the Lord, the scripture says that Enoch walk with the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah. What's he? Yahweh yeah. actually? Yeah, they the Lord take right. He did he did according to the word of Yahweh. Alright? Just like we walking in the Lord. And it's pet in this land of darkness. Right. You know? With the light. You gotta have a light. shot by the most high, they can't be plucked out of his hand. They can't perish, man. So if you are in hopes of being the elect, all right, whatever the most high puts on us, all right, if you are in hopes of being the elect, you're going to know you're going to persevere, man. All right, and we have, we all got different stories of when the most high has delivered us out of fucked up situations, man. You have just paid your rent and your damn transmission go out. Woo! Right. Now, nigga, get desperate and go do shit, man. To try to make uh, uh get that help of man, but it have been two countless situations where brothers have been delivered out of man when you had your back against the wall, man. Right. right. All right, but you know what brothers didn't do? They didn't turn their back on this work, man. Right. No matter what, still got to get out here on the block. Still got to teach his words. Still got to study. So the most solid. All right, just gonna get a little hair, but I see you, you. You believe in me. I got you, and out of nowhere, something happened, man. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I ain't gonna, you just disappear for a few weeks, man. I just need some car trouble and shit. I right. couldn't get down here. Right. Come on, man. Ain't no excuse for not doing work, man. So if they had Jake there that was in the camp, you know, that, that found a reason to get out of the truth. In his mind, he justified, you know, uh, I'm trying to trust you. Know, I'm trying to get myself together. Uh, 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 uh. Man, fuck that shit, man. Right. You know? Most I will find you something, man. Most I will find a way for you to be able to take care of yourself, man. Yeah. You know? You might be testing you. Take that 
this is because uh, the brothers was talking about how uh, essentially all these things are happening in the world and how they they fight and doing these things and whatever. But we're doing things for for eternal uh, purposes. This is uh, First Corinthians chapter uh, nine, verse uh, twenty four. It says, "Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize." So run that ye may obtain. Don't do this. We're not in this thing uh, to do this in vain, man. All right. The, 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 the ultimate goal, all right, first off, is to please the Heavenly Father. And if you are pleasing the Heavenly Father, you're going to receive salvation, man. All right? right? Ain't no sense in wasting doing all this for nothing, man. Right. We want to make it to the end, man. All right? So none of us guaranteed. All, every one of us out here, we still got to fight, man. Think about if you're running a race without knowing where the finish line is. Exactly, man. Right, right. Yeah, that's like, you know, they did that when you do that cross country. You don't see the finish line. You're going through all different type of fucking turns. You just know, I got to keep running until I pass that line, man. Right. Verse 25, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But we ain't incorruptible. Hey, right. Everything attached to this place is corruptible. Right. right. All right. And you see the men who are chasing that corruptible crowd falling by the wayside, man. Getting weak. All right. Disappearing from the scene. Getting plagued. Mm -hmm. All right. Getting put to death. Right. Because they was trying to make it on this side, man. Right. Guess your video popped up yesterday on my phone. On my Who that? <coughs> You're wrong. Oh. <laughs> Guess what he was going into? Um, Luke 9 and 62. No, sir. Yeah, yeah. No, how he... Damn. Right, right, right. But that's crazy. The Mosai yeah, right. make you pop up out of nowhere, do a video, cutting the shit out yourself. It was an old... It was from back in the day, but just... Right. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's that old video. Right, right, right. That's yeah. the spirit, man. Like three years ago. Right. To have a, 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 a nigga crept in unaware, going in to taking your hand from the plow, okay, and then take his hand all the way from the plow. Ooh. It's what you feel, man. Oh, yeah, he's somewhere with a cigar and shrimp on his breath right now. Yeah, shit. <laughs> this is um, this Philippians chapter three, starting at verse thirteen. It says, "Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do: uh, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press towards the mark." For the prize of the high calling of your house and of my shot, you know, shot. So it. we're pressing toward the mark of Mark. It's the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, that end goal that we're all angry for. And Paul said, I count on myself to yeah, apprehend a minute. I don't yeah. I consider myself saved already. Right. I don't think that I think that I've made it already. Right. That's how Christianity is. They, they already got the kingdom of heaven already. And this is why niggas live like animals in Christianity, man. Because in their minds, no matter what I do, Jesus got me. Right. <laughs> they, they go into Christianity a homosexual, and then you grow in Christianity, and they become a damn transgender, man. All in Christianity. Just bogged out. That, man, look, that shit is backwards, man. We doing this thing the right way, bro. Fight the way we gotta fight through. Paul said, I press towards it. Mm. Man, that he, he's trying to do whatever he got to do to get to it, man. Right. And that should be your mentality, brother. Now, we do it in patience, and we do it in humility, man. That's right, Doc. But we are fighting to get the kingdom of heaven, man. That's our only goal. Right. It's to get the hell out of Babylon. Right. <laughs> this right there, brother. Because we see ain't no other option. Right. Right. We know right. this place is falling, man. I had uh, one of my family <sighs> members that uh, out of nowhere told me, uh, she was like, shit, y'all ain't starting to sound so crazy no more, man. Right, right. right. Man, uh, everything y'all saying is starting to happen, man. All right, man. We bringing an honest report uh, to, the, uh, 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 to the ministry constantly, man. The more prophecy passed, the more things kick off, people scratch, 
This is uh, Luke 9, verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. That's simple, man. Ain't no breaks in this. Ain't no uh, uh, retirement plan. This thing is unto death or salvation, man. And to, if, you, uh, if that death was in faith, then you receive, you're going to have your salvation, man. <coughs> okay? But you can't just, oh, I've been here all the guys, oh, I was out there for 20 years. So the fuck what? You right. give up. Right. So you're not fit for the kingdom of heaven to go around, man. You got to die wrong on this side, man. That's your judgment, man. All right? All right? Because it's all boiling down to who really believes that the most high got us and who don't, man. All right? When death is presented before you, man. Because they got 20 years, the scripture says, "Be who endure to the end." Right. Yeah. Saints shall be saved. You know. Right. You know, you want to make point. right. Also, it says on Ezekiel that all that righteousness that you did, yeah. If you turn away, that shit go. So them 20 years, you wasted. Boy, you should have been somewhere playing hockey or something. Right. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, you didn't count the cost. Right. Right. But you didn't count the cost, man. Yeah, so uh, uh, 2019, 90 hit, 2000, right. and all, oh, man, oh, we ain't got delivered yet. This, you know how much prophecy still ain't had to happen. Yeah, every time you hear rumors of war, Jake jumping up, we out of here. It's over now. But, but the MOTB ain't been pushed on the whole earth, man. Now, this thing is going to happen in order, man. And we got to get to that point, man. Until that MOTB come, and that's the hour of temptation. All right, that's the pinnacle of testing our faith, man. First Peter's four, verse twelve. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Hey, that's beautiful. You brought that after the count of the cost, man. You had Jake come in, and they think this is was supposed to be cool. All right, man. You look at all these old these attempts and just push, having a good time. Pick me, bring your woman, bring your kids. It's a whole family affair, man. Okay? I ain't gonna sing this song. But yeah, they don't look at man now. We about to be tested, man. Alright? Man, one of the main scriptures that used to always come out, man, uh, is, is uh, uh, Zechariah 13, 8 and 9, man. So if you're reading that scripture, you gotta know that, man, we gonna have to go through some fire, man. So when it happens, you can't be surprised, man. You really should be rejoicing, man. That you're not out here, Jake, it's still niggas out here living good, man. Right. Okay? They got their consolation, man. Right. Okay? You should be happy that the Most High is dealing with you so you can correct your actions, man. All right? First uh, Peter 4, verse 12. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Fiery mm. trial, which is to try you. Go ahead. As though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah, we read the scripture, man. The brother had told you Romans 15 and 4 earlier, man. Them stories like no, it was preparing you to go uh, prepare you to go through the same shit, man. Okay? Man, we what, what 12, 13 years ago we was hyped up talking about how China uh, America was getting all these guillotines from China. Okay, now it's not really spoken of, man, but they still here, ready to go. Uh, uh, verse 13, it says, But rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering. Yeah, mm -hmm. is a servant greater than the master? No. So be grateful, man, that you partaking in the hell that Yahweh Shah had to go through, man. Okay? If we follow Yahweh Shah, we're going to have to go through some shit, man. He went through it before he received his glory. So how are we going to skip over the hell and just get glory, man? It don't work like that, man. Mm -hmm. okay? It says that when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also with exceeding joy. Exactly. When you go in uh, First Thessalonians uh, one, you know, I think it's around chapter uh, verse nine, where it uh, speaks on uh, the Lord returning. It says the saints were glad, uh, they rejoiced at his uh, coming. There was there was admired at his coming. Confidence that I did, I thought, man. 
I fought to the end. I did what I had to do. So I'm not going to be nervous like, man, he coming to kill my ass because I was bullshit. Right. right. Let's go, man. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 17. For our light affliction is filled but for a moment, <coughs> working for us a far more exceedingly an eternal weight of glory. Yeah, this, this is a light affliction, man. All right? Just everlasting life alone. Nothing on this side can amount to that. Right. Whatever right. we go through, nothing can amount to living forever, man. Right. All right, to no more have sin just don't exist in you no more. Think about that, man. It's crazy. Sin just don't exist in you, man. You ain't thinking no weird ass shit in your head out of nowhere. You gotta repeat that demon, man. Right. Everything you do is in perfection, man. Okay? So this is light compared to what the Most High has given us, man. And it's not an if or a maybe thing. It's promised unto us, man. Okay? Now the most high did what? He swore on his own, uh, on his own self that this place was gonna fall. Babylon the Great, America, man. Okay, so that lets you know there's something following that, man. If he swore that this place has to go down, then something's gonna follow. And he already let us know what that is. Our everlasting kingdom, man. Right. So fuck anything on this side, man. Right. I'm not saying it's not it's gonna be easy. Alright? Because the scriptures tell you, man, once you get it first, get uh, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. They should be right, right. right. Uh, verse 18, he said, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things... That's faith right there, man. All right? Hey, that's why, man, we, we, can, we can see, man. We got our vision restored, man. This is uh, a miracle, uh, us receiving this word and being able to see the truth, man. That's a miracle, man. All right, we received our sight, man. Okay? We were healed, man. While the rest of these people still blind, man. Right. Okay? Yeah, if I may add to that, um, Apostle Jamar, he speaks on it all the time, like having pictures. Yeah. Right. When you really in this truth, your vision is going to be as the scriptures say. Right. So going back to the cat who uh, was talking about killing himself, he didn't have that vision. Right. Perception has a lot to do with everything, man. You have to see that this world is greater than right. what the scriptures are talking about. Right. And this world can affect you. Yeah. This world can have a, a, a deep or profound effect yeah. on you going to live or die. Right. But if your perception is in line with what the scriptures say, you had a mentality like Paul said. Uh, like the mentality that Paul had when Paul said for me to die. Yeah. It's game, but it's necessary or need that I stay. Right. So, so yeah, why would you yeah. talk about it? right killing yourself? Yeah. You know? But but yeah. right then, that, that vision, man, is, is everything. Perception. You can see catching hell as woe is me, or you can see catching hell as man. I must be a son of the That's Lord. Right. That's right. Right. That's right. Right. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. And that's if you endure it. Right. If you let that little bullshit yeah, get you. You know, sweep you to the side, then you can't say I must be something. Uh, you know, the right. Side. right. But if you take it on the chin mm -hmm. and continue to push, like Brother Reed, press toward the mark, right? Then yeah, you can rejoice in the fact that you are hopeful, one of the hopeful elect. Right. You know. Right. Huh? That's right. Oh man. Get the shit together, Jake. Or not. We coming down to the end. Yeah, this is it, man. This place is certainly a train, man. We must endure these things, man. Like the brother just said that, it's, but, like, but that just makes a distinction between the elect, the whole three legs, and the two thirds. Because <laughs> over, you, you know, these, these things, bro, when the most high man pointed on you, the body of your about shutting y'all with shine. Right. And that's chastening like you're dealing with sons, man. You ought to know that. But if you don't, that means you're on, you on the other side of this, man. It ain't for you, man. It ain't for you, man. Check these, check these infirmities and these things and, and, and enjoy it, man. Knowing that if you don't be elect, you're going to be delivered on the other side. It's not going to be by your strength, man. It ain't going to be by what you think. Yeah, it don't feel good. The brother read the scriptures. Don't think it's strange. You know? We didn't all experience the, the trials and tribulations. That, that comes with the territory. It don't feel good, it ain't nice, it ain't pleasant, 
that it's a necessary uh, part of this thing about it. It's necessary, man. Most high building spiritual needs. Right, knowing that he put you through that furnace, man. Right, he right. Knowing he, he doing that, man. Because if he wasn't doing it then, then mean you, you just a bastard. He ain't fucking with you, man. You really out of there, man. Man, Jack, y'all better get y'all shit together, man. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, back in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. He said, while we look not at things which are seen, but at the things that which are not seen. We looking for the kingdom, man. Right. We know this place is soon to be destroyed. Right. Man. All right, and for everybody that uh, by nuclear uh, weapons. Uh, uh, believe in it, man. Hey, God, you make God. <laughs> yeah. The prophecy is speaking right now, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. Looks is a new job. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Little do we know. Little do we know. Jake talking about we gonna take down uh, Babylon. <laughs> Everybody, man, if you got any type of sense, just a regular citizen of America can see that nuclear destruction is the only thing coming here. You go on certain videos on YouTube. Go read the comments, man. These Edomites is talking about nothing but World War III. Right, man. right. That's all you see on the comment right. board. Man. Especially on RT. Yeah, because Esau will go study. They'll go look in the current events and see what the fuck is going on, man. All right, Jake is worried about who, what nigga is marrying what slut. Right, right. in uh, Hollywood. Right, man. how much right. time did that kill young dog gonna get, man? <laughs> you got them battling them shooting over there running the goddamn cage for war, man. Right. Battling the fucking cage, man. Thumping the fucking chest, man. Right. And that comes from the spirit of your house, man. Yeah, Keep right. doing that, man. Yeah. You niggas better pay attention. Yeah, but I ain't gonna pay attention. NATO oh, and Russia did not come up with no uh, <coughs> peaceful solution. I know. Well, they I had the, uh, that little shit was going on right there. Right. Oh, yeah. And Putin is steady sending to uh, the border of Ukraine. Right. And weapon. Right. You know, so that's a hotbed right there. Right. And then the little thing can set right. it out. Yeah. You know? And uh, under Russia, you got Kazakhstan. Yeah. And, you know, they just had that protest. That one, the protest of uh, they citizens. America and uh, NATO sent, uh, you know, uh, what, what's the word? Like for? Missionaries. Missionaries out there to do that shit. And Putin them, that's why Putin them and the Kazakhstan president said, look, we shooting to kill because this ain't none of us. Ooh. The point is, is on the left hand side of Russia with Ukraine and at the bottom of Russia with Kazakhstan. So, in other words, they backing Russia into a corner because Putin said we ain't having it. And then in June 6th of this, June 6th, no, June, which is the sixth month, that's when NATO having that meeting, and they said, whatever Russia talk about, we don't care, we go put uh, Ukraine in NATO, and Putin said, if you do that, that's the red line. Right. Yep. Right. And Putin been warning for, 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 for years. If you see us make a move, it's going to be an action to put, put shoot, shoot to us. Right. He said, he ain't doing no fucking talking, man. That's Let's go, man. man. Let's right. go. Yeah, I believe it was the Russian uh, Minister of Defense. I, I can't call his name, but I did a lesson on him. He said, uh, right, uh, basically they're backing us into a corner, and basically he's saying they're leaving us no choice. Yeah. It's cold, and man. He's like, shit, we're not going to roll exactly. over. Exactly. <laughs> you, should, you should believe him. We ain't going to roll over. You should believe him. No. Right. 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 You got the military general from uh, Russia also. He said that we can turn America into nuclear ash, man. Mm -hmm. That's the exact ash. words. Right now. Ash. He That's strong talk. Into nuclear ash, Prophecy, bro. too. So you think they're going to fuck up what America's going to do? Right. Man, look, they got something to set it off, bro. Right. And it's all the most high word, man. Right now, Joel, Joel, Jeremiah, 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 Jeremiah. No nuclear missiles, man. Right, man. And because they know, according to the book, of, according to the prophecy in the book of Joel, a Babylon spirit is hung a bit, man. Right. This place is dead. Ain't nobody, this is not the big man wolf anymore, man. Right. At all, man. Right. That's right. Nobody regards with these crackers over here standing in the Except you dumb ass niggas. That's right. But on the global scale, they man, like, man, the hell, no. He's ready to say go, man. Right. Yeah, I'm going to need military. Yeah. Right. Trent. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Back in Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. It says, for the things that which are seen are temple. But the things which hey, are not... Just, the, what the brothers was going into now, dealing with the, that situation, that's this thing coming to an uh, uh, end, man. All right? Because we know that this place is temporal, man. All right? 
So how do, you, how do we know it's temporal? Because we're paying attention to the prophecies and we see it, the other nations getting ready to shoot on this place, man. Right. Okay? Yeah, the tension is over there, but this is the big, this is where the big showdown gonna be of the most size uh, uh, movie, man. Okay? Yeah, we know all, all the nations is gonna get, all the armies is gonna gather over there in the uh, Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Okay? But this is gonna be the big scene where the uh, bulk of the missiles hit, man. Right? That's right. Say, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for, the kingdom of heaven, which is eternal, man. All right, no other nation will ever rise up against us. This will be the last standing kingdom, man. Okay? All right, go to uh, yeah, get that first. Um, this is 1 uh, Peter 4, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the most high. Hey, so any of us who are, are, are considered uh, followers of Yahweh Shah, all right, that's what it's uh, who it's talking to, man. All right, so it's Christian right here, but the origin of being called a Christian was at, in a mocking manner, man. Okay? So to be called a Christian at that uh, uh, back then was not a good thing, man. Okay, well, it was good because you follow a Yahweh Shah, okay, but a good in the sense of the opposition from the world, man. So us today that say claiming that we follow Yahweh Shah, all right, we don't, uh, this is uh, who is directed at. Go ahead from the top. First Peter 4, verse 16, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. Yeah, so don't be ashamed, man. If you suffer from being a follower of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? You're supposed to uh, uh, glory and rejoice in that fact, man. Okay? But you have uh, uh, men who have become ashamed uh, uh, of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Right. If you don't want to teach a part of this, these scriptures, for whatever reason, if you don't want to push prophecy, you're ashamed of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Like if you're saying that uh, if you're saying it's gonna be safe in a while long, you are denying your house shot, man. Right, right. And that's a new controversy all over again. That if, if the law will <coughs> save us, or the critical way of doing things gonna save us, brother, they're not gonna happen, man. The reason why we're in captivity is because we couldn't keep that old company, man. Right. That's what we fucking down for, man. But your house shot, our Lord and Savior, He came to. Bring peace, man, so that we can be restored and get the kingdom of heaven, man. But we cannot keep the law 100%. That's madness. Why, why, why didn't Paul? Why didn't Paul get taken up? Like Elijah or Enoch? He said he was a, a, a Hebrew of the Hebrew. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He said as, as concerning the law, you couldn't touch him. He said perfect. You know? Right. So why, why did he get knocked off the horse and? And not take it up. <coughs> if, if salvation came from the Lord, he says, "Good right. He says, "Come, oh, come." Huh, huh. See, people read, but then they don't read. Come, right. yeah. right. you know. Right. Like a nigga, um, not the doctor was dealing with the, this, this whole, this catch with this notion talking about. Uh, I need the question. Yeah, I'm not the doctor. I'm not the doctor. Yeah, come, come. Uh, uh, a question that. Oh yeah, that right, yeah. That shit sounds and, so stupid. And he, this whole shit was based off. He was he was asking like basically if we didn't go into slavery, yeah. would we still be in Hebrew Israel? Again, why even pose that question? Watch the video. You know, watch the video. They don't have nothing to do. We're not out here because. I left a comment on the brother's uh, uh, video, but you know, slavery wasn't that. This whole beef comes from it's like us us being out here calling the white man the governor and telling him he's going into slavery. That's his whole problem. Right. But that ain't you know that's a part of this thing. Slavery is slavery is the basis of why we are out here. We are here to get out of slavery. Right. 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 Do you have a Yeah, this is why we are here because we are in slavery and we need liberation. Right. You know? But they go back, you know, people read and they don't, you know, if the Holy Spirit ain't dealing with you, they don't understand. You don't get it. Right. So 
you know, he probably saw some videos and, and didn't get it. You know, then, you know, this ain't funny. So asking dumbass questions, trying to be a smart ass, it ain't, you know, you wasting your time and what education can come out, like the brother said, you know, for education's sake. But a lot of people just don't get what this is, but it's going to make sense. When Jacob's trouble hit, and your ass is in the box. Yeah. Right. You know? <laughs> Say it, blessed be that read it. Not just read it. That's why that's in there. Right. 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 Not just read it. Not just read it. Yeah. Right. right. But to have that not, that not enough, though, man. Right. The understanding, man, of what you read, man. It's only comes from your whole man. Oh, boy. Right. Slavery. Was, it's just one of the signs. It said that the curse should be a sign. <coughs> it go from 15 to 68. Yeah. So what about the other curse? Yeah, he went straight to 68. That's to us being Israelites. Come on, man. And first of all, this ain't our only captivity with the All right, this, this, this war has been going way on before the slavery that happened over here. Yeah, y'all know how shivering in your fucking boots, man. All right, when you hear noises in the dark and people's skin getting ripped off of their fucking bodies, man. All right, you're going to be denied, man. Okay? You're going to have men who calling on your house shot, claiming they calling on your house shot, and they're going to be denied. All right? Mm. Because they're not really walking it, man. All right, them names are not to be used in vain. Man. Right! First Peter 4, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. It's like to the day, let's look out of spirit and move smooth, man. All right, we're not going to be ashamed, all right, because we're getting uh, uh, targeted by wicked motherfuckers. Right. That's part of common cost, man. We already knew that. Right. Niggas don't want to hear the truth, man. They don't want to hear about their wickedness, man. Right. Okay? Why we don't be out in the damn? What the hell we look like in the hood, man? For what? Talking to zombies? It says, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to glorify the Most High on that behalf, man. You read about any of the great men of the scriptures, all right? Our Israelite forefathers, they, look, let's use Noah, for example, man. Noah prophesied for over 100 years. Man, right. Imagine the amount of scoffers that she had, man. Right. My niggas just saw a biker jacket video pop up and Jake, oh shit, I don't know no more. Man, imagine what Noah had to go through, man. All right? Moses in the wilderness, man. Okay? All right, I'm extrapolating, thinking more and more about it and shit, man. Okay, we just want to read the scriptures and to go through the accounts. All right, well, we get a glimpse of it. All right, having that vision. We fuck, man, shit, niggas. That's all I can say. Every one of us know the extent of a nigga and his hatred when you're trying to do something right, man. Okay, even before we was in the truth, man. Jake, anything that's right, Jake don't want nothing to do with it, man. Nope. All right, make fun of you because you got it. Uh, you smart. Uh, good, make good grades. Oh, you want to do what's right. Oh, uh, 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 look, good boy and shit. That's that <laughs> bad? It's bad to do right, man. Right. In the mind of a nigga, that's, that, that's what it is, man. Okay? So we ain't gonna be ashamed or feel bad because niggas don't wanna be a part of what we're speaking about. Right. You know, niggas not gonna be a part of it. We ain't out here to speak to fucking niggas, man. Right. right. We out here to condemn niggas, man. Okay? Go ahead. Number 17, for that time is come 
that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask y'all, brothers, who is that talking about? It says, read the scripture again. Uh, who, is that, who is this talking about? In 1 Peter 4, verse 17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Yeah, all, all the men are saying that they, they uh, 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 are pushing Israel, man. They just a uh, great millstone. He saw he gonna segregate everybody and say, no, that that was over here. That was with this. No, man. If you push in Israel, you uh 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 Men that die faithfully, and then you got wicked niggas getting put to death, man. Okay, but the most high is beginning at his house first, man. Okay, and this is a, a, a this is a time to really rejoice, man. All right, brothers that that, that have fell ill, they can get certain tests put put before, man. This is to build our faith up before the rest of these people here get it, man. The scripture about to go into it, but it says, and if it first begin at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Yeah, man. Hey, we, when you was in school, man, if you fuck around that day before a test or something, you got some, some little answer key or something, <laughs> gave you something, uh, a, 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 little, a little heads up on something, man. All right, so let's catch the hell first. We're getting the heads up, man, to boost our faith up to get ready, man. Right. Okay? So when it come to the rest of these people, yeah, we're going to be in, uh, uh, in, in this fleshly body. So, yeah, we're going to be in a state of fear and scared, but we're going to be boosted up in faith, man. Okay? Whoever the elect is, is going to be, man, the most high is going to put a, that measure of faith on the, on the elect, okay, to match the times that we're in, man. Right. Okay? All right? Because we're going to have to constantly get deeper and deeper when it comes to a spiritual mind frame, man. All right? We're going to have to really fulfill uh, Ephesians uh, uh, 6, man to make sure we have on all our armor, man, okay? All the different analogies that the most high put in the scripture, man, having on that beautiful garment, man, okay? Having this living water flowing out of your belly. All these things are gonna be things that's gonna have to fit your spirit in the times to come, man, okay? Go ahead. Um, verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved. So, it's like, you read 17 one more time? Okay. First Peter 4, verse 17, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Yeah, so this is, a, uh, your fear should be amplified right now as well, man. Okay? All right, constantly uh, uh, telling yourself, man, I got to be on point or the Most High can take me out, man. Okay? Right. He can start uh, letting this oil leak up out of me, man. Right. Says, and if, the, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Here, chaos, destruction, all right? We don't want to be a part of that shit, man. All right, while the rest of these people is getting taken out by the innumerable ways the Most High about to come with, man. All right, man, we gonna, man, if we have the elect, we're going to be skating through, man. Okay? Not skating through. When I'm, when I'm say that, I mean, you, we're going to be getting by stage by stage, man. Okay, not skating as far as in the sense of being. Okay. Go ahead. It says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved. Scarcely, the righteous scarcely be saved, man. This is a, a heavy scripture to meditate on, man. All right, to prepare yourself to go through something, man. All right, something that we never seen. None of us have never ever been tortured, man. Okay, never, none of us has ever been on the run, man. Okay. Not stopping at the next stop sign when the cops hit the lights. That don't count. Hey, I, and one of those definitions for scarcely, one of the definitions for scarcely is almost not. Yeah. Look at the guy who shot. What did he ask? He asked the Lord, man, is there any other way? Because he was at a certain point. He was at a point like, man, shit, but he knew he had to do it, man. Okay? All right, we're going to get to that point, man, where you like, shit, man, am I going to make it, man? That's how serious it's going to get, man. Right. Okay? So this is the time to, 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 man, to, to, to take advantage of the access to the knowledge, man. The access to the breakdown. All right? To build yourself up, man. Okay? For all of us, man. Stay sharp, man. If I may add, because, like you said, there was no other way for your hollow shot. The same thing applies 
for us. But Esau, he gonna present another way. And if you ain't built up in this gospel, you gonna go to Esau, you gonna go get that damn chip, man. Oh, yeah, you gonna run to death. Yeah. <laughs> you right. running at a spear, full speed. You don't even know it, man. Fuck being failed. Says, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Yeah, man. Just hey, to all of men, when we go into the list of all the different ways that judgment is coming, man. Okay, we don't want to be a part of that, man. I will always say somebody got to be the two thirds, man. All right, we damn sure don't want to be in that category, man. Nope. Okay. Yes. Uh, James chapter five. You know, I was. Uh, seven. All right, it says, be patient, therefore, brother. Yep, thanks. We keep, man, endurance, patience, and suffering keep coming out, man. That's the time we in, man. All right, we get, we really about to be tested, man. Okay, we ain't been through shit, man. Be patient, therefore, brother, until the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. We got to wait on the Lord, man. That's the end all be all. We got to wait on the Lord, man. All right? Uh, I think it was the other guy, Pazaki, said year, uh, years ago, he said, man, all we got to do is teach until the Lord come back, man. All right? And it's going to come a point to where the Most High going to uh, send the order down from the heavens that it ain't going to be wise to be out here on the highways and byways. Okay? All right? That famine of the word is coming, man. Right. That's like I was just saying. This is the time to take advantage of it before shit, who was bullshitting around, not really studying. And then when the shit get bad, you go get on, turn on that computer and the internet is off. Right. Uh, get that blood on your doorpost, man. That's right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was shy. It's coming again, man. Right now. All right. And this time, it's, it, it's, uh, it ain't going to just be for the firstborn right. of, uh, of our capital. That's man. right. That's right. right. It's going to be for anybody who don't have that uh, that thought man. That's right now. All right. And can we get that barbecue shop? Come on, come on. Let's uh, finish this out. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Um, says, right, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the covenant of the Lord. Behold, the husband has waited for the present fruit of the earth and have no patience for it. Yeah, and this is what we're doing, man. We're getting ready for that marriage in the sky right now, bro. Right? Right? Woo! Man. Be called up, man. All right, real quick, uh, give Revelation 18. This is uh, <coughs> Revelation 18, verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Mm -hmm. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devil. Right. That's the, that's the fate of America. Man. Right. Okay. Wow. Not this fucking fictional world, this freaky techno uh, technological world Esau is proposing, man. This metaverse, man. No. No. Screeching animals, man. There's a creature. Right. That's the only thing going to be able to do here, man. Okay. Arabian wild ass will be right. able to Okay. Go ahead. And it's become the habitation of devils and the hole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunken of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yeah, this is the this is what happens when you deal with uh with the devil, man. We saw you, man. All these nations they got in bed with this piece of shit, man. Okay? And that's why but, but it had to happen for us to have World War Three. If all these nations didn't get in bed with Esau ass and fucking uh, get to the point of uh, where they at now, so they're like, man, we, man, we want to have this nigga head on the stick, man. Okay? It had to happen, man. Okay? The prophecy said, man. It says, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Yeah, so man, you gotta think, bro. The, the mindset of a nigga is low level, man. All right, we paying attention to what's going on on a global scale. All right, see the the the, uh, 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 the coming together of the nations for war, man. Okay, we paying attention to what's going on on a global scale while niggas just worried about his immediate world in, 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 uh, in, in Babylon, man. Okay, yeah, the playoffs, man. This major shit going on in 
They think if I don't talk about it, if I don't listen to it, it won't affect me. Yeah. No, this is directly, it's affecting me now, or it's going to hit Jake in the face, man. Okay? Because they didn't want to take me, but they weren't close to it. All right? Niggas, whoever is under two thirds, they were created to be destroyed. Okay? All right? To be a stumbling block to themselves, other men, all right, and the building block for the men of the Lord, man. Okay? Because we're going to have a lot of our family members, man, that's going to fall and be a part of the two thirds and fall, man. Okay? Right. All right. We'll go here. I have to get too far off before. It says, In the merchants of the earth, are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I could run it thin now, man. All right? Everybody ain't got their money, man. Now you see people, they, uh, these other nations, they getting their shit and getting away from America, man. Everybody is seeing this place going down, man. Right. All right, go ahead. Um, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Yeah, and this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, literal, man. All right, this is when the elect is going to be getting beamed up, man. Okay? All right, finish that out. Um, that ye be not partakers of her sins, mm -hmm. and that ye receive not of her plagues. Yeah, which is going to come in many different forms, man. But at the end of it, the ultimate plague is those missiles, man. All right? That's when we're going to know who the elect is. All right? All these Christians talking about they saved. All right? Well, 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 are you preparing for a nuclear war spiritually? No. You don't even think in your mind that's not even an option, man. What are you talking about? I'm saying Jesus got me. Well, I don't know who the fuck Jesus is, but how was shot coming to fuck this place up, man? All right. Hey, I got something for you, bro. That's it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I read that last verse again, Bob Bishop. Okay, done. Revelation 18, verse 4, and I and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sin. Now you gotta think about this, man. In the midst of fucking, it had already been chaos and hell going on, man. Okay, and now uh, 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 the, uh, the earth is shaking from the power of the pistols uh -huh. getting ready to rain down. And man, we hear a shout and, and, and men start, with women and children start getting beamed up, man. Okay? That's why it's coming that it's gonna be he that endured until the end. Okay, so it, like it ain't gonna be he that made it to martial law. Now you good. Right. No. Until them missiles hit this bitch and then let get beamed up, right. it ain't over, man. Right. That's why Peter said, uh, scarcely be saved. Because it's gonna be at that moment when you see those, those missiles coming down, there's gonna be a man of the elect here looking up. And, and uh, just like Yahushai said, why have why have you forsaken me? Yahweh was on the cross. Felt like he was forsaken, man. We're gonna we're gonna have that, you know, we be of that elect of the country. We're gonna have that feeling too, man. We're gonna feel like shit. I, I thought I was good. You know, I, I prayed, I did everything I you know, I fasted, I did you know, I did what I did. But those missiles are going to be, that's why it says, scarcely be saved, man. You know, shit, so he let my even piss on his pants. Right. Yeah, yeah, Pastor man. Lawrence Smith today, he said, man, don't, don't think like when they come for you, you're just going to be <laughs> tough and shit. No, nah, man. They not going to knock on your door and say, we got a warrant, we need you to come with you, man. You might get woke up with a rifle to the head, man. All right, get your ass beat and drug out the house. And the father say, shit, you might, you be, shit, shit, you're going to be screaming, you're going to be fucking hollering and shit. Be fucking realistic, Jake. Right. Right. I ain't right. talking to nobody in particular, but I'm saying be right. fucking realistic, man. Right. 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 Don't think we just gonna walk out of this place and then we're into the kingdom, man. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Receive not of what? Of her plagues. Read that out, bro. Bobby Bishop. Come what? This is Zechariah chapter 14 and uh, verse, verse, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that are fought against Jerusalem. Read. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Stop right there, bro. Read that again. Not the top. Okay. <laughs> this is Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that are fought against Jerusalem. So this is the plague of 
This, all, look, all of this comes from the most high Lord. This is his will. This is his enchantment. Okay? I've just read about the plague. This is the plague. Read, huh? To the most high power. Who sweet, who you can love every, everybody, man. Go ahead, bro. Right. right. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Read. And their eyes shall consume away in their homes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Hey, what's going to do this, man? Bad luck, a bad day, a fist fight? No, man. Thermonuclear no destruction, man. That's the plague of the most high power, man. That's what's coming to this place, man. And it's just like, and if you know, it's a repetitive thing, but that's just how the scripture is, man. That's mercy from the most high power. And these things do come out repetitive, man. Because this is the end of, that's the end of all things, man. Right. Man, if you think, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just a man. But you say, we're going to make it into 2020, man? Hell no. If you don't feel it, you don't feel it, man. You don't feel it, man. But you know that this shit is a bunch of, you know what I'm saying? The most high thing was part of his sanctuary first, man. Begin with us, man. The brother said, You're gonna have that cabal, man. You're out of here, man. Right. You're out of here, man. That death ain't gonna come in, smite all in your big and small, man. The most I don't care about that, man. And it's upon us, man. It should give you a chill. It gives me a chill, man. Mm -hmm. a chill, man. And I hope and pray, not only for myself, but for all my brothers, man, that we make it out on this other side. It's gonna be horrible, man. It's gonna be terrible, man. Most I got a point to prove, man. He gonna start with us first. His beloved. Oh my goodness. I don't think you don't really understand what these scriptures are speaking on, man. You don't understand the, 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 the many characteristics of the most high power, man. He's a man of war, man. Y'all is his name, man. You got a point to prove, man. But we didn't, we didn't. But we displayed all sorts of manner of wickedness before our power, man. Like the brother was saying, we're trying to get to the kingdom. It'll be a beautiful thing to finally be looked upon as something clean and decent in yeah. front of our power, man. Yeah. Instead of fucking niggas, man. I think we're out here doing, doing, I think we're out doing something. We ain't doing shit for being despicable, man, in the eyes of the most high power. They should have been put us to death, man. But he showed us mercy, man. Thing is coming down to the end, man. Brother, get your shit together, man. Fear not, man. Fear on the most high power. Forget what these people out here are saying, man. Trust in the most high power, man. Trust in the Lord in all your ways, man. The liver's not gonna come from the, the Larry Holmes, you know what I'm saying, or any other medicine, man. None of that shit, man. If your name is in that book, man. Go ahead, what's the like, brother? Philippians chapter 2, 
and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, mm -hmm. work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Right, and that's what we should be doing. Working out our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. We need salvation. Right. We need salvation. Right. And the Heavenly Father is greatly to be feared that this, this society that's, that's going on right now that we saw them got in, in place, you know, we got everybody indulging in this, this sorcery and witchcraft, right. you know, through Esau's <clears throat> social engineering. Right. People, you know, they, they believe wholeheartedly that this is uh, some, some uh, uh, what's that term, organic, Right, 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 uh, right. Situation that's going on. You know what I'm talking about. That that got everybody scared. They think it just happened yeah. organic. Right. right. You know that's the social engineering, the witchcraft. Right. right. You know. Now us with this perception of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, that see what's going on, man. We see the madness of the minds of the people. The people are mad, man. They're not even thinking like because fear has shut down the ability to reason. They're not saying, well, wait a minute. Okay, you got me You got me covered up, but if I go to the doctor, you got to shove something up my nose to take a test. Right. right. So, right. why am I wearing a mask? You get me? Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You tell me I need to wear a mask to keep from catching this situation. But yeah, you can't, you can't take a swab. It's a whole lot of shit that don't line up, right. that people not put one to one together. Right. Like the brother said, people are only concerned with their immediate surroundings. They have no no, no knowledge of what's going on geopolitically, what's going on here uh, domestically, politically. Right. You see, there, there's a lot that's going on and a lot that's being kept from the public. Right. So he saw a woman lull everybody to sleep. Right? Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. They don't look over. There. Right. No, there, there ain't, there's nothing to see right. here. Right. Just looking right at it. Right. Like that movie, don't yeah, look Yeah, you, you're looking at it, but there's nothing to see. Right. And the master's saying, oh, okay. Right. You're going back to sleep. Right. But if you if you got the vision of the scriptures, what's going on, just like the brother said, to put fear in you. The Heavenly Father is, is working heavily. The Spirit of the Most High is working heavily right. throughout the world. Right. The Why? world. To get these scriptures to come to pass. Right. You know? They're working on legislation right now to uh, be able to round people up. Right. Right yeah. now. Yeah. Due to this situation. They just roll up on you. They call them, uh, what do they term? Help, uh, Somebody, I can't even remember the, the exact verb in this. No, no, it's a, like a health They had a power to, to, uh, to go door to door and, and shit. They basically like medical, uh, I don't know what they like, bro. They got the, they got the power to, uh, Invoke the, the, the invoke law enforcement right. on on local, state, and and uh, county level. They can invoke law enforcement. That's the, that's the power that they give. They yeah. send it in, in an assistance. Brother, you can pull it up. Uh, Posing a threat. But they just roll like right now. They can just roll up on that's right true. now. That's what you say. They can put you lock you up for ten days. Yeah. No, no more than 30 days. We're talking about in the legislature. You mentioned specifically 10 days. You're a threat to society. Everybody able to pull it up. Yeah, that's a, there's a, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I was going to say there's a term called medical martial law that they can use that as, as a way of, you know, uh, holding it on because they That's what we're talking about. You know what, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's on that link in the chat. Of course, I can pull it up. Hit that verse. Hit that verse. Health officers. Yeah, health officers. So, you know, 
now's the time just to keep in line with everything that's been coming out. Like the brother said, man, we should be working out our salvation here in church. You know, taking advantage of the video, taking advantage of, of, of what's available to us for our own salvation. Not squandering it, not, not you know, BSing around, but, but taking this seriously, hunkering down and, and developing our character in a Masayak like manner. Pursuant to give, give me a uh, give me a excuse me for it. Just call it help officer. I also say help officer. Yeah. shit holding it up, man. Right. It's all smoke and goddamn it, mirrors it, it, and ain't nobody mad. It, it. You should be goddamn mad, man. Right. Especially if you're a Hebrew Israelite, man. We need salvation. Right. right. We need salvation. Women running around here. Man, I'm so sick of women talking about, I don't know who this is for, but somebody needs to hear this today. <laughs> and you ain't talking about a goddamn right. thing. That's right. right. This is your season. Yeah, the most I got something for you, like the brother said, is in Zechariah 14 and 12. Right. right. Who gonna talk about that? Right. Are you I C A? Are you I S U P K A? Great Millstone gonna tell you about that, man. This thermonuclear destruction of a destroying wind coming from right. this place right. is gonna make this whole place burn as an oven. Right. right. Y'all run the goddamn plan. What is that? Right. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, mm. work out your salvation with fear and trembling. My own salvation. Before we go to that Ephesians, get that uh, uh, Ezra 9 that the brother called for. And we're gonna we gonna we gonna read why you should be trembling in fear. Because it's it's death coming. The spirit of that that same angel of death is gonna be unleashed without measure, man. This is gonna be death on top of death, on top of death. What did it say, I what, 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 
Ezekiel 9, and it reads, and 94, and Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, through the midst of Jerusalem, to the same people who need to be working out their fear of salvation with fear and trembling, with so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans <coughs> predominantly. But wherever else you may be with the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in you, right? You know, you make up Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Right. So what does that say? Except a mark upon the forehead. Wait, go read, go through the city one more time. God, Ezekiel 94. Come. And your house said it to him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Now see, if a nigga had been talking about I want to kill myself because of the wickedness that's in the world, you know, that'd be something different. But no, he wanted to kill himself because he was catching hell in the world. He was trying to escape this hell. <coughs> but why aren't you signing and crying? Right. You shouldn't be trying to promote uh, 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 suicide. You should be trying to promote these scriptures, man, right. as the way out. Because this is the only way out. Right. Because you can put a gun to your head and the most I just see you back as a baby. Now you ain't got no kids. You at the mercy of some, some parents that's going to be bugged the fuck out anyway. Because the most I'm not going to send you back to no Israelite man. He's going to send you back to some bugged out motherfuckers. And now you just a baby in the world at the mercy Ooh. of some niggas. Right. A nigga won't think, he won't have that mindset, man. That ain't shit for the most high to say, what the fuck you doing here? Get your ass here. Get your ass here. See you right back. You coming through all this hell again. Right. Well, you were right there close to the finish line. And now you right, well, well, it's all about to be over anyway still. But now you can't, you can't read. You can't get back into, you can't, you just right. have the mercy, man. But anyway, go ahead, bro. Ezekiel 95. And to the others, he said, in mine hearing. Oh, oh. Before, one more time. Done. Done. Ezekiel 94. And Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. That mark. We got to discuss that mark, which is basically the, the receiving of his truth, the, the uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High's word. Him giving you the Holy Spirit to understand what this word is talking about. That's the mark. Is that's what's going to give you the, the sense to sign what? You see? You see what I'm saying? You should, want, you should be sick of this. You right. should be vexed. Very sick of it. You should be vexed, man. Right. You know, we need salvation, man. Exactly. Too many people doing too much dumb shit, man. People say a, a, a wise man. Nigga, uh, that late. I go out. See, I said, "Evil is hiding himself." That's a good one. That's a good one. But uh, I made a change. No, the one after the dark brings out all the things. Folly, folly makes a wise man. Fresh, no, fresh, 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 and the people right at all. You know? At all. At all. Yeah, this is oppression. Women just have the ability to, to just, you know, just run the muck. They're really just running the muck. Out of order. Right. Out of, out of line. Out of sync. They out of sync. And that's why they got to be artificial. So they out of sync with, with the, the natural way, the old past. You know? So they, they got to get fake this, fake that, go to Miami, get a fake ass. So you out of sync with everything. Everything. You know? Even even the men. These men just as bugged out, uh, or bugged out. I saw his brothers a post a, a, a little TikTok where uh, this bitch would make a man uh, cuss his side pieces out. Basically saying, you know, uh, I don't want you bitches, I don't want you hoes no more. Basically, she, 
she lead him, telling him, putting words in his mouth, telling him what to say, and he's standing there just doing it. What kind of man are you? What kind of man does that, man? You got other bitches. You go tell her and get nine to our friends. That's true. 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 That's they said, man, we need to put an end to this shit because soon all of these bitches. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. right. You got you got bitches walking their man like a dog through the goddamn city on a leash. That's a vexation. Man. Right. Because then that that's that's what social engineering is. Then that becomes the norm and the bitches feel like she needs, you know, yeah, you mind. A, a man don't belong to no bitch. Right. Right. Now, now, Apostle, Apostle Ricard just went in heaven on his own. A man don't belong to no goddamn woman. Right. Women are possessions of the man. That's right. Subject to the man. But see, that's a sign of crime. I know y'all say I'm jumping around, but I'm signing that motherfucking crime. Because there's too much bullshit going on out here, man. Right. If we don't say it, who the fuck don't say it? Right. right. Again, how you all see what they candy asses ain't saying shit, but they can come out and cuss out a possible to heart. Right. They keep the elder name out your mouth, keep the bishop name out your mouth. Why? You going the fuck off. Right. right. Why? So if we if we don't sign cry, we don't come out here and give you the straight. Ain't nobody else gonna write it to that, man. So go back to that. Where and who are they? Huh. Where and who are they? We'll fall back. These are the men. Ezekiel 9. It's continuing on in uh in 4. It's Ezekiel 9 and 4. Oh, it's say the mark 3 that 3 that I've been to. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So right, they're receiving their mark basically the most high basically. Would, would open, tap into your pineal gland, open your understanding through the Holy Spirit, and then you can have sight to see, as the brother was speaking earlier, what the scriptures really are talking about, man. The scriptures are not about, you know, uh, us, us living all together as one, you know, all nations of the earth and coming together and, and, and Jesus going to come back and love everybody. No. Scriptures are radical, right? Like the guy told uh, 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 Captain Tazaria, the scriptures are radical in an irrational world. But really, it makes perfect sense. Right. But it's an irrational it's world. Radical, man. Right. Like the apostles say, man, uh, this is a revolutionary act. Uh, how they put it? Uh, but really, it is revolutionary because we are here to, to make a change, but not to take up arms. Because okay, that's another thing. They record everything you say and text and type on every keystroke is being recorded. NSA, FBI, and the CIA. They, they got databases on everything. All these smart devices are spying on them. You know, Alice Jones ain't as bugged out as a lot of you think. You know, and, and he spoke on this years ago, but we we also been speaking on this, man. They got everything recorded exactly. and watching you. Everything. And now they talking about a smart target. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. So he said, I want to know every goddamn thing. He want to know what's in your shit. <laughs> That's stupid. But I'm telling you, man, I'm saying this, and we, we, you got to understand the magnitude of why I say we got to get the fuck out of here, right, man. Right. Because you brothers already know. But yeah, we, we, there is no future for no one, let alone the Hebrew Israelites here in America. No future for nobody. If, if the Lord wasn't, it's going to come back. We all be got that yeah. cyborg yeah. robots and shit, yeah, man. Right. Right. We already got people. Having sexual relations with robots. This is the world that we live in, man. 
nobody to have an issue with this. Even these, like the brother going into it, these other Hebrew Israelites going into it. They won't speak on the madness that's taking place. Nobody will but us, man. I just got that devil. It's like pigs' hearts are human, man. That's another so bad, thing. Man. Shit going on, man. There's so much shit, you can't even remember it all, man. That's another thing. Man. Imagine you going on. Now, next thing this cop will be telling you, he can sew a goddamn barrel arm to replace your real arm, and it's going to be no. Stay down here, man. Bring yourself. That's where we at. Talking about some God and Christ blessed. Uh, IGOC, all the alphabet the groups, groups, right. groups, all the things they ain't busting. Hey, exactly. Right. They, 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 they right. come to prophesy. Right. 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 They ain't busting the great. Right. So, right. 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 Yeah, that was it, man. And, and the masses, they're, they're, they're primarily as a close, man. Close shit. Yeah. I mean, you can, it can be something going down. And you tell it, man, this is happening. And it, it won't register. Right, right. You know? It won't register. It's like this this whole this, this whole situation. Now you got uh, the, the CDC coming out, speaking against their own shit. The people want Cognitive, cognitive dissonance. Google, the EU, the European Union Medical uh, Division, bro. Just Google e EU Medical. And the article's gonna come up. they telling you that this shit is good. The EU! they telling you that. That that shit with y'all got going over there is not good, man. Going to lead to the death. I guess that's false news. Fake news. Yeah, fake news. Yeah, fake news. Yeah. Thank you. The elder Yashawama sent me a video where the white boy was talking about, yeah, uh, maybe we need to kill a lot of people. And this whole, who, this whole thing was put out there to kill a lot of people. That's what he said. You know, I don't know if you guys have seen the video, but I, I posted it. And, and uh, yeah, this, they come and not tell it. Again, the apostle Paul, or the prophet that he is, says, yeah, it's going to come a time this devil going to reveal his horns, and all people still going to see it for what it is. Right. But go ahead, bro. Right. And that's called, so that's between you that, that, and that's called nihilism. Uh, that, 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 that's in the, that, that book of the, uh, the Chronicles of the Elders of Zion. They got a term they call nihilism, man, to where they just going to break the side the dog, make it no morals, no standards, and then punch, punch out to show you, ha ha, we did it. It's like that, what the fuck are you gonna do about it? We in the days, man. They said to show you like shit, I ain't hiding my hand. Here go my hand, here go the blood, here go the knife right here, I fucking did it. What the fuck you gonna do? March? <laughs> go pay the Murray? Go pay the Obama touching his finger with, a, with uh, Right, right. <laughs> that stupid ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> so real, real quick, they can't to the those lost sheep. But we, we act just like sheep. He saw bust you upside the head, and you go march with it. That's it. Right on. He stripped you of your rights, and you go march. You get gunned down in the street, you go die side. We are no lost it ain't even got to be a fourth hand, it's just a nudge, you can shoot all the way to the right. Just a fucking nudge. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. You, you, you want the, uh, you want the, uh, yeah, yeah, because we got to get to the, right. Ezekiel 95, and he reads, and to the others he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes fail, 
The smiting is coming, man. That's why we should be working out our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. That's going to be a great smiting coming to the, 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 the entire earth. But go ahead, brother. And smite! The Lord is dealing with Israel right here, though. Go ahead. And smite! Let not your eyes fail, neither have ye pity. Right, that goes back to the, 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 the first Peter uh, 4 and uh, 17, the brother brought out early. Ezekiel 96, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin in my sanctuary. Ooh, begin at the sanctuary. Well, I say begin in his sanctuary. Because those are the ones who are supposed to know them. Right. Go ahead. Then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house. So right, right, we won't be no, dis no distinction made. No more, you, you, you're going to get the wrath. You can get the wrath of Yahweh by shooting out of sight. But the scriptures say, come not near any man upon the right the mark. No? So yeah, that was the point on that. You had something out it's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the in whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of the Messiah, who is the image of the Most High, shall shine unto them. Right, this is a cultic knowledge, man, because you gotta have the Holy Spirit dealing with you to understand. It. Right. But if the gospel is hid. What it say? Our gospel, right? If our gospel, read it, right? But if our gospel be here, right. it is here to them that are lost. That are lost without that for what? So that word mark that the brother read in Ezekiel, go back to the Hebrew word the what, which means to make it simple from the judgment. And the judgment is that smiting. That, that, that death pain that's coming to Jesus, man. So if our gospel is here, it's to those without the mark that are lost, you know, go ahead. In whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which how believe the, not. How the power of the mind blind the world of them that believe not? Through his sorcery, mm -hmm. deception, right. witchcraft. Right. You know, like I said, you can tell somebody something that's happening in real time, plain as day, because they they didn't bought into the illusion, they won't believe it, even though it's right there in your face. That's how strong, you know, but that's the most high. I can't give you e e either credit. That's the most high's power. That's right. It's illusion, yeah. right? That's right. So if the gospel is here, it's here to those who the most high don't want to get. Right. Them who are lost. Right. Go ahead, I read that part again. Whom the, and whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Amasiah, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So he's all been doing his job to get that strong one. Right. To say the power of this world, we know that's Satan. Right. Satan took the high child up on the high mountain. They said, he, he, he propositioned if you bow to me, I'll give you all these kingdoms. Why do you put the power of this hand? But for a time. So now the power of this world is out here deceiving James. Right. Through that wine of, of religion, politics, you name it. He got, he got everything in his hand. He got that wine for you. Right. Whatever you thirsty for, got it. Got it. Got it. Right. Done. So, right, right, we, we need salvation desperately, man. You don't want to see your children grow up in this shit, man. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. You know, animals. Fuck. This all leave you the option. You know, if you want to make some money uh, uh, to rap or uh, play, play some type of sport, you know. <coughs> uh, you got some cash breaking the road to uh, uh, this cryptocurrency and shit. Opportunities been made. Like, oh, Niggas just think you know shit. Uh, opportunity to rap on Facebook. Go work for this guy. And that shit been played out. And nobody feeling Boy, that soft as hell. Boy, 
they ain't been working. No, ain't nobody feeling that shit. Nobody want his goddamn dollars. Nobody want his goddamn job. And nobody want to be around this motherfucker. Right. This, 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 this appeal is, is fading away, right. man. You don't have that he appeal no more. No, yeah, that appeal. Oh, okay. <coughs> you losing it, he ain't got it no more, man. But, uh, yeah, that was it on that rock one. So, so, uh, yeah, that was it. Go ahead and get that Ephesians. We're going to close on Ephesians 4, 14, 13. 13. Ephesians chapter 4, 13. To we all come in unity of the faith. Right, so uh, before that, verse 11, it said, he gave some, come on, come on. he gave some, get that real quick. Ephesians 4 and 11, and he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors, and teachers, for, for the perfecting of the saints. Right. Right, so, right, that's the establishing of the body. He gave some, he gave some uh, uh, apostles. Uh, apostles, apostles, go ahead. Prophets, prophets, evangelists, evangelists, pastors and teachers, pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, man. You know? And, and so, in doing that now, for those of us with ears to hear, we have to work out our own salvation. Now that, you know, we came into this thing and we see who are the apostles and the pastors and the, the evangelists and the teachers and all of that, we got to utilize all of what was afforded to us to uh, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. And the key is work out our salvation. Because this shit here, man, is death. Death, man. Toxic relationships, you can't, you can't have a, a meaningful, productive relationship with a woman because right. of the, the, the witchcraft and sorcery of Babylon. The most natural thing on the face of the earth is corrupt. That's true. It is corrupt. She, she won't tell you what to do or, or, or run shit. It's, it's, it's all fucked up. You, can, you like can't up. raise your children. Right. This is this is crime to discipline right. your children right. according to the structure. Right. Well, I, you know, it wasn't that short, and now she reading it with him. 
But that's the damn shame when a child got more sense than the parent, man. This is the time that we live in, man. Yeah. Right. He got more sense to know that you inappropriate. I make you Right. Right. That's the world that we live in, man. God, man. But right. I, 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 I'm just saying, just imagine having a conversation with your mama. I can't even right. imagine. Right. When we was coming up, they had the women wore slip. Oh, you saw your mother slip, you were like, oh, come on. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yep. So imagine having to have a conversation with your mama. I'm going to cover your ass with your titties off. I can't. I, I can't. I've been rolled in that shit, bro. What should I say that? That's, that's that demoralization. <laughs> in order to take over a uh, uh, people, you got to demoralize them. No. Now, now the whole world is looking at Jake maybe as a bunch of degenerates. So now when, when he saw Blue run right down on these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, ain't nobody gonna have a bit of sympathy. Not none at all. So they see you over right. here cooling right. and more food. Right. Right. But uh finish that one, uh y'all rock and get up out of here. He beat the boys and he lived. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hashiach. Right, so we, we should be working on being perfected. We ain't gonna reach that. That's why Paul said I press towards the march of you will never reach it because we in this cell of the flesh. And when your house shot come, he will do the finished work himself, but we need to be perfecting until he, he returns. We should be constantly perfecting. You know? So, uh, I'll read, read on to the couple more verses. Jesus 4 13. Until we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of the Most God. Yeah, it is, you know, so, yeah, uh, <clears throat> right, we, 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 we know what time it is. Right? Here at Great Millstone. Oh, this, this world has nothing to offer us. Only hope is in your house, right? And we need to be conforming, conforming to that image of your house, man. Because the most I've got prepared for this world, mm. yeah. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of people ain't gonna be able to stomach. No sir. Let alone survive. No sir. So with that, man, we're gonna close out. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Akapadash. Come on, Mr. Bashim, man. Take your stuff. 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 Take your stuff.